Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to create a symmetry plot in Stata. In order to do so, let's go ahead and load the Census 13 dataset, which is a dataset about the demographic qualities of states. And let's do a symmetry plot for population, which is called POP, in this dataset. The command to enter a symmetry plot is simply simplot, S-Y-M, plot, uh, followed by the variable name, which in this case is POP for population. And there's our symmetry plot. Now, obviously there's something really asymmetrical going on here with the very high population states, and I'm assuming this is California way up here. What's happening is that as the states become more populous, they start to grow way, way above the median. And as the states are less populous, they stay pretty close to the median. So one way to kind of understand that is that the difference between the median and the populations of the least populated states is it's pretty small but the distance between the median and the population of the most populated states is very high right and so that's why we call it asymmetrical if this plot showed symmetry what you'd see is all these dots here would be would be clustered pretty close to this line so this asymmetry over here tells us that the distribution of population is really skewed there are going to be a lot of high population states and we could follow up on that pretty quickly just by doing a histogram and seeing what it looks like. Uh, you see that there are states way out here, and again, that's probably California, uh, you know, way off from where uh, the mean is. And we could go even further and do a summarize command. And here we see that the mean and the median are kind of off here a little bit. The mean is thrown off by the outlier, California, the other states. Here's the median over here. And so we see that the most populous states that are way out here are way past this median, right? They're way ahead of it. But the states down here, the least populous states, aren't by comparison that far off the median. And that's what it means to have asymmetry, and that's what a symmetry plot shows you. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening, and have a great day.